way to get rid of smoke is to build a bigger damn fire. We're hunting Miyagi's. Everybody, I made the three hour drive to northern Wisconsin. I'm going to be doing something this weekend that I've never done before. I am at the Wisconsin Frozen Butt Hang. So I'm going to be here with a bunch of new friends for three days camping out uh, in the winter. So beautiful weather out here. It's about 30 degrees right now. Temperatures are probably going to hover highs in the upper 20s. Lows at night into the teens. Uh, just cold enough where the snow isn't going to be real wet. But it is going to be super cold. Which I know a lot of people at these frozen butt hangs like to get it super cold. So they can brag about how cold it is. But I'm over that. But I have a look, some new gear this trip. That I've never done before. I built a pulk. If you aren't familiar with what a pulk is. A pulk is basically a sled with poles that you pull behind you. So, um, I have about a mile and a half, a mile to walk in. It's a little different for me. I can't remember the last time that I have camped in the same campsite two nights in a row. And uh, you can bring things like a full-size lawn chair. So, I'm going to get loaded up walk in, meet all my new friends, and uh, looking forward to having a good weekend. I'm going to show you my pulk a little closer. So, uh, the bottom of the pulk is a Paris Expedition sled. Uh, and it has uh, the loops, the holes for loops right in here. And what I did is I got some two inch webbing and some buckles. And uh, I sewed the straps myself and put them on. And uh, it worked out real well. I wish my straps were a few inches longer, but uh, I have a great big duffel bag that almost fits perfectly in the sled that uh, I purchased on Amazon. Uh, I'll put links to all these things that I purchased uh, for making the pulk down in this, the description down below. So uh, I have a little packable uh, shovel on top, a couple gallons of water in there, the lawn chair over here on the side, uh, a couple PVC pipes that I bought at Menards and uh, epoxied some uh, loops on the end there uh, that'll hold those in. And I bought these uh, little mounting brackets from skipulk.com. Now, you can purchase this whole setup pretty similar to this from skipulk.com, but doing it yourself made it a little bit cheaper. Uh, on the other end, uh, I have the same uh, loops on the end of the poles and a harness. Uh, I purchased a harness. It's uh, from Clam for ice fishermen. Uh, I wanted to have the chest straps and not just the belt for pulling it in. So. Enough talking, my fingers are getting cold, let's go. The 
Hulk is working perfectly. It's a beautiful day out here. I've been on pretty much flat ground the whole time, so it really isn't testing uh, going on a side hill and that sort of thing. But uh, so far, so good. You may be wondering, it's less than 30 degrees, and all I'm wearing is this hoodie. I have a merino wool mid layer and a t shirt on under that. So when you're winter backpacking, you definitely have to dress in layers. Now when I get to camp, and I'm not working quite as hard, I have some other layers to put on top, some thicker gloves, I'm gonna be plenty warm. But I think I'm almost to the camp, so I'll get set up, meet some new friends. It's a I made it to camp. Several people here, most people are just kind of relaxing in their hammocks right now. I see Nick, our host, out on the lake looking for some uh, water. A couple other guys gathering firewood. A lot of the trees are really close here, so it's a little bit tougher to hang my bridge hammock. But I found a spot way out on the end, past everybody, a little far away from camp. But I'm gonna get set up and relax. My hammock is out. I'm out in the middle of the lake. Yes, I'm standing on frozen water. That is our water source. If somebody looks down here and say, hey, who's that ice hole down there? They're saying ice hole. Ice. Oh, I'll do my best. I'll have to run I have if I have to. You don't need a pattern. You're, 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 yeah, you're right. the master. <laughs> It's about 8.30, it's about 15 degrees. Been sitting at the campfire for a while. Uh, my buddy Tom uh, Caboose is supposed to be showing up here in five, 10 minutes. So I figured I'd walk back out to the parking lot, show him how to get in. Uh, might be a little bit difficult in the dark, so. Uh, but it's a beautiful night out here. Walking around in the woods, kind of in the dark by myself, I'm hoping to see some wildlife. If I do, I'll show it to you. Look what the cat drug in. Oh, hi. You arrived. It's the one. It's the only. Caboose. It's the caboose. Oh. How are you doing? Doing well. Doing? That is a nice looking polk you got there. Thank you, sir. Tom was my polk mentor. Assisted me with building my polk. Yep. Your polk is bigger than mine. Well, that's what uh, a lot of people say. It's not about, it's how you use it, right? That's right. Good morning. It's about quarter after 10 already. I accidentally uh, stayed up by the campfire talking with people until about quarter after one last night. So it's so early, or I should say it was a late morning. Slept in a little bit. Uh, Tom you know, brought this big stove and he had a flat top and made some breakfast burritos that were delicious. But uh, everybody now is kind of up doing various chores. Good morning, Caboose. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you for the breakfast burrito. You're very welcome. This is my new friend, Nancy. Hello. Hello, YouTube. And he had way too much weight on and A couple of guys over here talking. Hey. hey. Welcome to the Wisconsin frozen butt hay. Welcome to Colorado. I mean, welcome to Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, this guy. Explain to me why you would drive from Colorado to Wisconsin to go camping. It's the people. Strictly the people. Really? Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys rock. Yeah, yeah. I come out here for the this people. Is the second time. Out we can here. get this is the second time out here. I mean, we can get the weather anywhere we want, but it's we can't get you guys.
works up. You actually do do yeah. work. When I do work, I get it on camera. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often. Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't seen too many of this on your uh, channel. <laughs> All right, camera boy, your turn. <laughs> All right. What are you doing out here, Caboose? Playing with my wood. Should I give you some privacy? Uh, chew on me, right? That's, that's, the, thing. <laughs> that's the thing, isn't it? We chew on them. Yeah. Well, I thought he was going to get some berries. Hey, they want to chew on some of these too. Is that the one that the winter the bunny, mint? The bunny urinated on? <laughs> Uh, no, Steve did, but okay. it's not like that works. I thought it was leaves of three, let it be. Was no, it? Is that, that according that, to the wilderness oh, guy? I've been chewing on the wrong stuff. <laughs> there, I it up. We've heard rumors of the elusive. infamous and elusive Miyagi has arrived camp, so we're going to hunt him down. Shh. Shh. We're hunting Miyagi's. Shh, 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 shh. Hide. I see I him coming. I screwed with it almost back. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Yeah, was the, the <laughs> elusive Miyagi is part of the uh, very highly coveted asshole species. It's a subspecies. <laughs> Subspecies. Of, uh, Mimosa time. Uh, relaxing around the campfire with a strange group. <laughs> we are strange. Speak for yourself. We are strange. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hey. <laughs> God, they let anybody in here. <laughs> yeah, go around and say your name or your trail name. Cat dog. <laughs> I don't have one. I don't have one. He's I don't have one now. Amazon Queen. Tato. Boots. Radar. Colorado. Oh, you're going too fast. Nooner. <laughs> Nooner, he accepted it. Yeah. New trail name. Nooner. Miyagi, like Nick, Nick of the Woods. Tips? Yeah, tips. Tips. Yeah. I'm eating two and he's eating the rest. Yeah. Uh, I think these are Steve's. Yeah, he brought them. I'm just, how did I even cook in these? Where's Steve? He's getting wood. Steve sounds like a pretty smart yeah, guy. Yeah, we're having sausages for lunch and then mm -hmm. uh, uh, we're, I'll be doing a pot roast tonight in that Dutch oven over there. Nice. Hey. Is that your wiener camera? Yeah, wiener cam. <laughs> We're all walking out on the lake to take our group picture. I'm like that annoying guy that never goes away. He's like a mosquito. How far are you going? All right, ready? One, two. Oh shit, dirty I got the timer on. Wait, oh, hang on, dirty hang on. Underwear, hang on. Yeah. Dirty underwear. Go. Go. <laughs> so, are you done? Are we done? No, one more. In case anybody was blinking. It's like something, oh, like something really funny. Hey, we're, we're all standing sober. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what I'm capable of. What do we got going for dinner tonight there, uh, Caboose? Fajitas. Along with a whole lot of other stuff, I'm sure. But You got hot sauce. I brought Please tell fajitas. me you have hot sauce. That's fun. Because Jeremy loves it when I eat hot sauce. <laughs> 
We have to be downwind. Super hot sauce. <laughs> Insert fart noise right uh -huh. here. Because you know what I do when I eat hot sauce. You drink lots of water? You're up all night? Well, let's just say, don't hide behind me. Uh-huh. Well, that's the case every day. Mm. These Wisconsin people take their firewood very seriously. <laughs> very seriously. Appleton, Wisconsin. <laughs> this guy's name from Wisconsin. He's getting into the fire. Okay. <laughs> yep. He's getting in. He's got his mucklucks though. Yeah. I think Nick is the most efficient wood splitter I've ever seen. He's got a lot of time on his knees as far as I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, be careful, I'm here again. Alright, <laughs> uh, uh, best on this knobby one. Or you better a YouTube video called Will It Split? <laughs> All right, boys and girls, it's that time again. It's time for... Will it split? How many swings will it take for Nick to split his wood? Let's see. What do you guys say? One, What's your guess? One, two, three, or five? That's a hard one. We got votes on two. Hey. Oh! If you guessed one, you're the winner. I'm the winner. All right, it's two for two. Will it split? Oh! <laughs> Notice where I sat. <laughs> you think a fire's gonna stop me? Hi, Gianni. <laughs> yeah, you're directly across from her. I'm looking at the fire. <laughs> it's a really nice The best uh, way to get rid of smoke is to build a bigger damn fire. I've never noticed how Wisconsin people like to enjoy their fire. <laughs> hey! We thought this was the frozen butt hang. Yeah. What, are you, what are you filming over there? Are you like the uh, fire butt hang? Yes. This is the fire butt hang. No, it's frozen butt hang. <laughs> yes, it's, it's actually frozen. You got it wrong. So we're thawing it. <laughs> So Nick, it's your birthday. It was, like, yeah. 32, 32 again or what? Oh, do I gotta say this? Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm 33. Yeah. Oh boy. Here we go. Strip tease. Oh, not that again. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, dear Nick. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Blow out the fire. morning it's about eight o'clock I slept in a little bit later than everybody else everybody else is kind of packing up they've already eaten breakfast got a nice fire going here this is the remnants of the weekend here hey Jeremy did you want some we've been partying all night all night so, this is the campsite. Morning. Morning. How'd you sleep? Wonderful. 
on the YouTube. She's a, she's a rookie winter camper and she slept warm. That's always good to hear. Oh my gosh, I slept better than at home. You can narrate my videos too. <laughs> There's the host of the party waking up. Is this Nick in here? That's Nick in the hammock instead of Nick in the woods. Nick in the hammock? Hey. Oh, at least he's got his pants on. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've learned we never eat poorly here at the frozen oh, butt hang. Do you have the other one? Yeah, well, then use that out. Nancy no, out. here hey. has made biscuits and gravy. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. Look at that. She's the best. I'm here with Nick, Nick of Out Outdoors. And Nick organized the whole trip. Thanks, man. It was fun. It's a good trip. But uh, Nick also has a business. Tell us a little bit about your business. Yeah, I run uh, Now Outdoors, uh, website nowoutdoors.org. So we do local guided backpacking trips, uh, paddle trips, a lot of winter trips, and then we do some international stuff too. It's, uh, Peru, Nepal, the jungle. It's a lot hotter than the Amazon. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, I took a look at his website before we came on this trip. It's pretty impressive. I'll put a link down below where you can check out his trips. But if you're... A beginner like you're doing beginner backpacking trips in the winter the summer yeah. uh, he outfits you with everything that you need and kind of guides you through so I think it's a really good option yeah we just had a beginner winter uh, camping workshop last month had a really good turnout we've got uh, presenters and we'll be doing that same trip again uh, we usually do one in December and one in February so one's a little bit more more mild temperature but we get a lot of beginners and people say hey I've got no winter camping gear never winter camp before and you're totally welcome to come on out. This is this is a great season, especially if you live up in the these cold areas. Yeah, no bugs. Yeah, no bugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Yeah. All right, see you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Staying warm and being comfortable on a backpacking and camping trip is all about the gear and preparation. Now you may have saw my video last week where I was in the Ozark Highland Trail and the temperatures were only down to about freezing but it was cold and wet and miserable the whole time and I wasn't prepared, didn't have a good enough raincoat didn't have waterproof gloves and I had to come home early because uh, we as a group decided it was dangerous to hike in the clothing and how we had prepared. This weekend I'm out in the teens and I'm perfectly comfortable. That's because I have the right gear, lots of wool, lots of down, staying warm, staying dry, Big campfire, good company, Wisconsin butt hang, good job. This was an awesome trip, I highly recommend. If you'd like to try winter camping. Now if you're a noob and have never winter camped before, check out Nick's uh, trips uh, where he outfits you, uh, supplies all the gear. Now there is a price for that and you have to pay for that, but uh, that's how he makes a living. And, it's a fair price, but hey, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe. Punch that bell notification. It'll tell you when I put out new videos. Uh, if you want some Midwest backpacker merch, check out, check out the Teespring. I'll leave a link to how you can purchase that online down below. But thanks for coming along. My Polk is working fabulously we'll see you back out on the trail